Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dungeon Dive. Daniel here. All right, I'm here today with uh, something a little different. I've been meaning to do this video for a while, and now I have a reason to because I have something cool to uh, give away to you guys. So I'm going to be posting a contest to give away an issue of Lurker Magazine number three, and that's going to go up on the uh, Patreon. So for uh, people who are at the um, treasure chest level, the $5 a month level, you can win a copy of Lurker Magazine. So uh, Lurker Magazine is a newer magazine. I believe it's published uh, quarterly, about three or four times a year they try to do it. And it is a magazine all about uh, metal music, rock music, underground art, gonzo artists, uh, outside artists, outsider art, uh, tabletop RPGs, tabletop games, and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, think if uh, you know if you are into Dungeon Degenerates, The Hand of Doom, this is the magazine for you. It's a really neat magazine. Uh, something that I don't really see a lot of anymore. This totally reminds me of something that I would have stocked at the shelves at, when I was the book sale manager at Tower Records. So each issue comes with a little bonus. The uh, issue number one came with a seven inch and that includes music from Cromwell and Cahand. I actually have not listened to this 7-ish because I no longer have a record player. Uh, music for me is one of those hobbies that I have switched to completely digital albums, mainly for uh, space-saving reasons. But the magazines have a variety of different uh, articles and different kinds of subjects. So I actually met uh, Ruben and John, uh, two of the creators, at the Dungeon Siege West, the convention, the little convention that I ran some games at. It was a dungeon synth convention, and I ran games of Escape the Dark Castle and Darklight Memento Mori. And John actually got to play Darklight with us. Uh, Ruben did not. He was bummed that he couldn't, but he was manning the merch booth. So here we have uh, issue one. We have all kinds of articles. Uh, there is a big interview with the guys over at Cave Evil at EEE Games. Um, you've got uh, Satanic Mojo Comics, Waste Man, a little article about a miniatures game, Ogre, an article about a band, and so on. Then scattered throughout, there are um, original fiction and art. They give all of their artists props right at the beginning of the magazine about their uh, who did their cover art and who does some of the art on the inside. Really nicely put together magazine, all black and white, nice paper, uh, perfect bound, and just a very substantial magazine. I mean, this is like much bigger than your normal magazine. It feels more like you're buying a, a, a book, a trade paperback when you get it. And that's a good thing because they are somewhat expensive. You are looking at about $20 an issue. But for me, it's kind of worth it because you are really supporting this kind of underground uh, underground art and and people who are making this out of uh, just pure passion for the love of this kind of like esoteric hobbies but uh, when I first saw this magazine I fell in love with it and it just kind of keeps it getting better and you guys will see why you have some uh, yeah, so this is a I think a scenario for Waste Man which is like a post-apocalyptic um, miniatures game Here's a little article about Waste Man. Uh, some art. It looks like kind of like Tom Wham art. I really like that a lot. Uh, ad there for Cryptic Explorers, which should be shipping sometime soon. Here is that uh, review or the interview with the band Ogre. I'm not going to flip through everything, but even the ads are cool. Like these kind of like old, you know, punk rock ads are always fun to look at. The Legend of Uglor. This is a original fiction by John Moore. Some good art there. And then in the back, we usually have, well, this one actually has a uh, article about cryptic explorers here. And then towards the back, you usually get some like shorter reviews and uh, opinion pieces and that kind of stuff. So uh, really cool issue. This one actually had a really well-written uh, review by Poke for Dungeon Degenerates, Hand of Doom. That was really cool to see in this first issue. 
and um, yeah, lots of neat stuff. So issue two, which came out in the spring of 2020, um, issue two's bonus was really, really cool. It actually came with a solo game made by the guys that did Cave Evil, E E E. And it is a game of uh, the House on the Borderland. And that is based upon the book by William Hope Hodgson. And this is a really neat book. Uh, this is a terrible cover for this book. I wish I had a better edition to show you guys this. This just looks like some really kind of generic gothic horror novel. But uh, William Hope Hodgson was a, you know, he was very popular in the weird fiction era, the early days of the weird fiction era. And um, he wrote a lot of stories about like uh, ghost pirates and that kind of stuff. But this is a really neat book about a, a guy who's in this house that is being uh, like being attacked by these pig demon things and the uh, the game that comes with the magazine I have not played the game yet but it comes with a fold out map and you are going to be in the house here and these uh, creatures are going to be trying to to infiltrate your house think of it you know it's like kind of a night of the living dead style uh, siege a siege type game that's that's the word i was thinking of and it came with some cards that you have to cut out and some little uh chits some little tokens a lot like the basically the component quality of uh of cave evil there um the back of the manual has all of your stats for your different creatures and characters and stuff in the game really great art there of course you wouldn't expect nothing less from the guys over there at cave evil eee -E -E. so pretty neat that was a really cool bonus and they seem to be uh in issue three you'll see you even get some more game related bonuses so the game related bonuses seem to be uh, picking up a little bit but issue two here we have a little article about Dungeon Siege West, which is where I met these guys. Um, an article on Strange Aeons, the, the game, Revenge of the Atom, the body. Uh, yeah, just all kinds of cool stuff here. So I don't think you can subscribe to the magazine. I just go to their website, which I will post a link and we and you can order directly from the website. But here's an article for that uh, Dungeon Siege West. That was a little convention that I was talking about uh, mentions the dungeon dive down there. We've got some pictures of the um, Cryptic Explorers guys. They had a little table set up. They were doing demos. I didn't get to play because I was running other games. Um, but here we have some pictures of the performances. Really, really neat group of guys. Um, I haven't been like connected to a music scene in quite some time. So it was cool to go and just see how closely knit this dungeon synth community is. I'm sure if people saw, you know, if people who had no idea what it was, they saw the, all the people that were there, they would think it was some like metal uh, convention, but then you go in and it's, and <laughs> they have like this, you know, new age style uh, Renaissance music playing. Uh, pretty funny. Count Fogulous Crypt, these are a bunch of little like capsule reviews the body about a band who also plays lots of games there we have pictures of them playing games and that kind of stuff the legend of Uglor so this is a uh, part two of that story written by John Moore it is cool to see original uh, fiction original like kind of outsider fantasy fiction being published I also recently subscribed to the um, Goodman games new magazine where they are publishing their uh, new sword and sorcery fiction so we're going to be taking a look at that on my sword and sorcery uh, series at some point artifacts and relics just kind of a article about old dnd the continuation of the ogre a uh, review of apocalypse world some music reviews so yep a lot of cool stuff there that was issue two now issue three this is the issue that i have to give away for you guys um, issue three comes with a little rpg um 
module written by Ruben and John. This is really cool, a dark fantasy scenario for role playing. You get some nice charts and some maps on the inside. Let's take a look. Actually, I'm going to keep this sealed up. I'll let the person who uh, wins this uh, copy open this up. And then you also get a book of fiction based on the Cryptic Explorers game. This is Cryptic Explorers Book 1, The Soul Peddler's Tongue, a macabre sci-fi adventure in the realms of death. Lore and writing by Stuart Sudicum. So if you have uh, backed Cryptic Explorers or are expecting to get it, from Tempest Tome Games. Uh, this is a really cool little book that you can get and read about the lore and some of the stories in that game's universe. Really cool. And then the issue here has, this issue has some really great art and they've, they've changed the page quality a little bit in this issue. It's a little like shinier and it feels really nice. Uh, like I said, they are expensive, but when you get them, it feels like you are getting something substantial. And so that's why I really do recommend this magazine, especially if you are a fan of, uh, of fantasy stuff, especially like DCC stuff and, uh, and stuff like uh, this was a, this was a history of the Ouija board, I believe the devil's board game. Yeah. Very cool. And then also in this issue, you have, and this is why I got a free issue to give away, the continuing saga of Uglor, the legend of Uglor or Uglor, artifacts and relics down in the dungeon, more stuff about RPGs, some really great art, and then you have here an article that I actually wrote on Dungeon Quest, and I'm actually going to be doing, I think, two articles for the next um, for the next issue. I'm definitely going to be doing a review of the Toshin Masterworks of Fantasy Art book and uh, another review for a game. I was really surprised that I got like a full spread there. I was expecting just a little capsule review at the end, but that was really nice of those guys to put together a nice layout with some photographs that I took. So yeah, that is Lurker. Oh, this one also had, we had a uh, review here for Super Blood Harvest, which I did just do a review on, if you guys watched that. Uh, a review for Swords of Steel from DMR Books. So DMR Books is a somewhat new publisher who's publishing brand new and old sword and sorcery. And this was a book with stories, sword and sorcery stories, uh, all written by uh, members of heavy metal bands. And then here we also have a review for uh, the Story Master's Tales Deeper Into the Woods. Again, this guy uh, who wrote the review absolutely loved it. I, again, seem to be the only person in the world who does not like the Story Master's Tales. So, um, yeah, there's, there's that <laughs> review for Acid Vomit, The Art of Sean Auberg, which I still need to do a video of. It's been sitting by my table for like a long time. And then where was that review? Oh, also a review for Escape the Dark Sector. So lots of game stuff in this issue. Very, very cool. So yeah, that's it. I just wanted to do a quick little uh, uh, flip through and kind of whet your guys' appetite for Lurker Magazine. If this looks cool, you go check out their website. Um, look for issue four coming uh, in the first few months of this year. And um, yeah, that's it. So, all right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this look at Lurker Magazine, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.